In this lecture, we're going to talk about the acidity of hydrides. Now, any compound that's composed of two elements in which one element is a hydrogen is called a hydride. Now, hydrides have varying levels of acidity. They could be acidic, neutral, or basic. Now, if we look at our periodic table, we see a trend. We see that as we go across the period from left to right, the acidity of hydrides increases. And as we go down a group, the acidity of hydride also increases. So that means atoms that exist on the left side of the period that form hydrides are basic. Atoms that exist in the middle, the transition atoms or transition metals that form hydrides with H form either neutral or basic uh, hydrides. And for the most part, atoms that I found on this part on the right side form either weak acids, strong acids, or neutral hydrides. So, for example, let's look at sodium and lithium and potassium. All these guys are found on the left side. That means they will form basic hydrides. And in fact, all metal hydrides are either basic or neutral hydrides. Now, we could also say, with the exception of one molecule, all non-metal hydrides are either neutral or acidic. The exception is ammonia. Ammonia is the only non-metal that forms a weak base. Now, let's examine the right side of the periodic table. On the right side, all the way on the right side and all the way down, we see that we have strong acids. So HCl and HBr are both strong acids. Now, because fluorine is found on the top it's a weak acid. Remember, as we go up a group, the acid strength decreases. So this guy is a weak acid. Water is neutral, so we leave that alone. Now, these two guys are weak acids as well, because remember, we moved back a group. That means our acid strength decreased. So these guys are weak acids. Now, if we, if we move one more group, we get weak bases. And if we get if we move one more group, we get neutral. 